Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner as always is Stuart Robson. And today it's the opening game in this particular group at the Euros. It's Denmark against England. Well, you have to be consistent in these group games. You can't afford to have an off day, otherwise you're out the running before you know it. Anticipating a really good game though, Derek. Hope we're not disappointed. And the starting lineup for Denmark. Kasper Schmeichel stands between the posts. Andreas Christensen plays alongside Simon Kerr in central defence. Pierre Emile Hoybier plays alongside Christian Eriksen in the centre of midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. Kieran Trippier starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Phil Foden plays with Bukayo Saka on the flanks. And the focal point in attack today, Harry Kane. And the game begins. The advantage accrues to the attacking side. Regain possession. Well, if we're in the business of identifying potential match winners, we've got to look to Phil Foden. Stuart, what might we see from him in this game? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. In and around the box, his creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Plenty of support here. But they dealt with the threat post. Well, last time out at the Euros, England fell at the final hurdle, losing in the final itself at the hands of Italy on penalties. But you look at the squad, you look at where England should be, and we're led to believe, Stuart, that this could well be England's Euros. Absolutely. I think England are a very good team. They've got a manager that has failed in the very biggest games. That's where he's got to improve. Oh, Stuart, they've got to score! That's a routine take. Christian Eriksen now. Oh, that's a really good run. But it stopped a promising attack in its tracks. And you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. A 
Well, he has players waiting at the back post. And it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it was played over. Foden. Bellingham. And Bellingham. Oh, he's through here. Opportunity still there. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. Now back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Darani counter attacking very much an option well that's how to put in a clean tackle now what can they do from here must be stopped a certain goal Gets in the way once more. Now well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Now a decent position. It's got to be. Foiling his opponent completely. And so it is. The first half story has been written. And I think we could accurately describe it as an all-action performance in the first half from Phil Foden. Stuart, your impressions? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. So back underway here, advantage England after the first 45, but plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over. Getting in there to intercept. Kane. Harry Kane moves infield away from the touchline. But the danger averted for now. And Bellingham. And return to Kane. Given away by Christian Eriksen. And into the last 30 minutes now. Wasteful again in possession. And Bellingham. On to Alexander-Arnold. They've chosen to go through Harry Kane. Options around him. And Bellingham. Oh, good work by the keeper. Substitution time it is here. Now, how about the short corner? Alexander Arnold just can't get it past him. Well, behind for another corner. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Favouring the short one. 
and the danger is averted. Fabier. Oh, lovely ball. Well, what can you say? A gilt edged opportunity to level it. Well, they have to score there. That was a great opportunity to equalise. Phil Foden. Just ten minutes remaining here. Grealish. Kane. Intelligent threaded pass here. Walker. Now with Kane. And putting his body on the line. Walker. Kane they've regained possession so two minutes to be added on at the end Foden now with Trippier shown inside great opportunity a smart stop here. Now following on from the previous incident, he sees yellow now. <laughs> now how about the short corner? And the final whistle is sounded, and not many happy faces in the Danish camp for understandable reasons. This is not the result they were hoping for. Well, Derek, it was a half court contest, which neither side completely dominated, but the result will certainly hurt them. They need to bounce back next time out. Well, a lot of positives as we reflect on what we saw from Phil Foden in this match. Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent, and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today.